Yeah, welcome back to another daily devotion. Uh, today I'm going to speak verse 12 of Matthew chapter 6, as, uh, you know, as we know as the Lord's Prayer. Let me read it. Uh, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. You know, when I was uh, not long saved and flicking through the Bible and trying to make heads and tails out of what, you know, Scripture is saying, I tell you, my eyes nearly popped out when I read the first line of, of verse 12 when it says, and forgive our debts. And I thought, you little beauty, Lord, you, you can get rid of my mortgage, you can get rid of my car loan, and man, this, this is a bargain. How come people didn't tell me about this years ago? You know, and I was, my mind started thinking, oh, man, this is a good deal, I tell you what. But then when I read the second line, I realized that it obviously meant something different. And because um, it goes on to say, as we forgive our debtors. And uh, I remember Chantel explaining it to me there one day. She says, I oh, know you really seriously got that one wrong. And, uh, but forgive us our debts, to forgive us our sins. You know, we thank God that when we came to the cross at Calvary, that we were truly forgiven, not only of our sin nature, but of the sins that we had committed uh, in that lifetime. And, you know, from that point on, uh, when we do continue to mess up or make a mistake or sin, we thank God for 1 John 1, 9. So if we confess our sin to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And thank God for that. Thank God for the forgiveness of sin. And, uh, but we can't forget the second verse of, of uh, verse 12. And it says, and as we forgive our debtors. And so, you know, the scripture here is saying, uh, that, and remember this, Jesus is saying this is how to pray. Lord, so it's obviously important, Lord, that uh, we come to you on a daily basis. Remember our daily bread, and it's speaking in the same context that uh, on a daily basis, Lord, forgive us our debts, forgive us our sins, but in the same way and in the same proportion that I forgive others that have trespassed against me. Now, bearing in mind, in context to this scripture, that this is done on a daily basis. And, you know, meeting people and myself, I've been here myself where, you know, sometimes something's happened and someone's done something wrong to me or even to you. And, you know, a month later, it's eaten us away. And we're thinking, why do we let it go for so long? The scripture here is saying on a daily basis, not only are we praying, God, that you would forgive me of the sin in my life, but also, Lord, I release those today who have sinned against me today. And that way, we're not allowing the, the sun to go down on our wrath. Amen. And so here it is today. We're looking at the forgiveness of our sins. And the scripture saying that the forgiveness of our sins are in proportion to how we forgive others. Uh, so, you know, that, that's a deep one. That's a, that's a big one. Now, we're speaking about the kingdom of God here on earth as it is in heaven. Let's not forget that. And so Jesus here in this prayer is... Uh, actually uh, causing us and showing us how to pray that we're keeping our heart right before God. Amen. So join me tomorrow. We're going to have another look at verse 12 and look at it from a slightly different angle. Anyway, be blessed and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.